Hey everyone, welcome back to Mark Loeffler Experience. Today, well, we're gonna go through another market stats. We're gonna go through, we're, well, we're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna do Toronto and Calgary and a tale of two markets. Comment down below what you think is happening in each market before we get into it. And first and foremost, I just wanna thank everybody who came out to our meetup uh, on Tuesday. We had a great time. There was about 60 or 70 of us there. I mean, we had wholesalers, we had uh, Airbnb arbitrage people, we had people who were doing burrs, people buying apartment buildings, people buying cattle ranches for goodness sake. Like, it was such a diverse room. Oh man, it was so amazing. Everyone had a great time. Um, I don't know, comment down below. Should we do that every month? You know, maybe pick a charity every month and uh, and make that happen. Anyways, just let us know. Do you think, would you come out to the next event? Comment down below. And as always, this video is brought to you by Catano Loeffler Real Estate Services. It's right here on the mug. It's usually on my hat, but I'm wearing a different one today. I'm wearing my investor hat today. And yeah, if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, or invest in real estate in Southwestern Ontario, or I'm licensed in Alberta now, let me know. Uh, we can help you out. All right, let's go over the numbers. Woo! This is Treb, okay? So on Treb, so Toronto Real Estate Board, which encompasses basically Oakville, Milton, most, some of it, not all of it, all the numbers, not all in there, out to Oshawa, up to Barrie. So it's a big, big area. So year over year, total residential transactions down 41%. So last year in April, there was 13,613 sales. This year, there was 8,008. So if you were one of the lucky ones, congratulations. Average selling price year over year is still up 15%. We're down 6.4% month over month. Somebody did question that on the last video. How can we be up year over year and down month over month? Well, very simple. Prices were lower last year yet we had a stupid, stupid increase in January, February. Like prices were up 25% in those two months, like over those two months. Well, we've come back to below January numbers in, in, in Toronto. We're very, very, if not, we're very close to those January numbers. What do you think is gonna happen? Like, are we gonna hit back to December numbers, which I mean, the December to January increase was insane. Like it was 10 or 15%. And then the January to February was, a, so let's call it December to January, 15%, January to February, 10%. So we're already back at or below January. When do you think we hit December? We talked about this on the channel. Somebody predicted a 40% drop and I was like, well, that's yeah, literally last summer. I know a lot of people are panicking out there. Let me ask, is this the time to buy? Should we be buying when there's blood on the street? You know, Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful. People are fearful right now. It might be time to be greedy. Total new listings. So sales are down 41%, but new listings are only down 11%. So that means there's a lot more unsold homes out there or homes sitting on the market longer. Sales to new listing ratio. So 65% last year. It's 43% now. So what that means is basically four out of 10 homes are selling as they hit the market. That's a significant, significant difference, obviously. I mean, you're at six and a half to four, like that, that's, I mean, 22%, but that is huge. Fewer than half the homes are selling when they hit the market. Now, I think these days on market are a little skewed just simply for the fact that people are putting out there like offer dates and then not getting it and maybe taking it off the market or doing something different, relisting it. So Treb, if there's anybody on Treb watching this, what I'd really love to see here is that monthly chart like we get on Ipso of the pricing where you're plotting that pricing for us. I mean, I guess I could do that myself, but I'm inherently lazy. Actually, I do have the numbers right here. So here's the monthly stats. We use the seasonally adjusted number, which is one, two, five, which is one, two, zero, zero. Uh, monthly side, they do say it's one, two, five, four. So again, look, you can see January was one, two, four, two. December was one, one, five, seven. I mean, we got a lot to fall to get the December numbers, but you can kind of see last year, this kind of did the same thing. We plateaued March, April. Now it obviously it wasn't as violent, but let, let's be honest, the price increase wasn't as violent either. Like, but you see like 960 to, to, 
ten forty four to, to a million one. You're fl you're floating around a million one. You come down into August. August J July August was the time to buy. Apparently, it's funny. So many of the investors I talked to at this uh, event, they're like, oh. Fall is the time to buy. And I'm just like, well, five people have told me today that fall was the time to buy. That means you're going to be competing with a lot of people. I'm like, don't you think June, July, August would be the time to buy? I want to be buying when nobody else is buying. That's my goal. And yeah, you can see like it's, it's come off significantly. I, I don't know. Do we plateau from here? I think we got another month, maybe two of decrease um, pricing, like we're going to get another rate hike June 2nd. We're probably going to get a 50% or 50 uh, basis point uh, rate hike. And, you know, we're going to see what that does to the economy and how much it stalls it. I forget who said it. I think was it Oscar Wilde who, who basically it wasn't a compliment. It was a threat. May we all live in interesting times. Well, I mean, we're living in interesting times, everyone. Th this is interesting, interesting times for Mark. I don't know. I love this stuff. Anyways, so I said we were going to compare. So Toronto is down 15% since the peak. Calgary, sales are up and listings are down. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means people are buying more properties than are listed. That means that their prices are going to go up faster because, you know, they have higher demand than people, than supply. This is all just a supply and demand. By the way, in Ontario, they've done a hell of a job of slowing demand. And I said this many, many times, I felt like that demand was really, really interest rate focused. Uh, so let's see this. So inventory is down 20% year over year. Months of supply down 25%. So there's 1.43 months of supply in Calgary right now. Total residential price year over year is up 17%. But then you can see detached, 19, semi, 16, uh, row price, 17, apartment price up 8%. So I think I'm doing pretty well selling my uh, condo apartment for 25, 30, 35% more than I bought it for. I'm okay with that. But you can see April, 2022, Here's the actual sale. So detached are down, everything else is up. So look at that, 42% more sales in townhomes, 46% more in condo apartments. And you can see, look, 24% increase in listings, 7% for apartments. And these have lagged the market out there. And you just see this nice graph of where basically it is, north, northwest, northeast, uh, center is not doing so well. I mean, they did have a lot of hits with, you know, oil, oil leaving, right? And here's the other thing though. They are seeing a sales slowdown. March obviously had higher sales than April. I'm on the fence about buying my new townhome out in Canmore right now, even though it's for personal use. I think I might get a better deal in two months out there. I mean, I'm going to negotiate. If I get my price, I'm going to buy it. Right now, I don't feel like paying the builder's price. Um, I, I think I've made that decision. And um, I, I apologize to, uh, to my great realtor out there, but uh, that's probably gonna be what has to happen. All right, guys, so let's recap. Toronto down 15% since the peak. Still up, what's that, like 4% since the beginning of the year. Do we end the year positive in Ontario, in Toronto? Calgary, I think we do. I mean, Calgary's up, what, 10% so far this year? They're up 17% year over year. Definitely the tale of two markets. Although I think these interest rate hikes are gonna cause a little ripple out there before long too. Uh, that's just my prediction. Here's the thing, I'm still buying great buildings out there. I just don't know if I'm gonna buy my townhouse. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always interested in having you guys comment and um, tell me what I should do with my money. All right, guys. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Thursday. We'll catch you next time.